Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winter again. You may have already seen my other video about my, about the uh, Nexus One versus the Samsung Vibrant. Well, today I just installed Eugene 373's Vibrant Hybrid R3 ROM. Uh, basically, what his R3 ROM is, it basically removes the TW launcher. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. Alright, so I'm going to show you the boot up screen. For those who do not know what the R, what the hybrid ROM is, basically Eugene has removed the TW launcher, which is Samsung's proprietary launcher, in place of a new launcher that makes it look like the Nexus One on the 2.1 update. So it's a new little boot screen. I think it looks a lot better than the other uh, than the previous uh, boot up screen which had the TW launcher and all because I don't like all that pink stuff just flying in this just looks a lot more cooler and it boots up a lot faster now this is the first time me booting it up so it might take a little while longer um, I went ahead and well I just all I've done is I restored all my apps to it I did a titanium, I used titanium backup to back up all my apps and reinstall them so I don't have to go through a lot of trouble. But anyways, this is the boot up screen that you will see, um, except for this little feature right here. It is called set CPU. Basically it allows me to control the processor speed of my Samsung Vibrate. And I am running it at... Uh, 1.2 gig gigahertz max 200 minimum that's uh, to save battery life I just gotta go to profiles and add a profile and you can designate uh, your processor speed according to your battery life when your screen is off etc the main disadvantage of that uh, it's not really a main disadvantage actually is uh, I put a setting where it would automatically slow down my phone when the screen is off so you do notice a bit of lag when the phone turns on you see alright I'm gonna press it press and there's a noticeable lag to it maybe about half a second it took about half a second for it to recognize my uh, pressing of the button pressed no nope. pressed yeah, it took about half a second for it to recognize that, but I would gladly wait that half second to add at least one and a half hours battery life. So, as you can see right here, it runs very smoothly. Scrolling does run very smoothly, as you can see here. And let's go ahead and go with a quadrant score. Yeah, using use a bench I'm using a benchmark to marking tool called quadrant stand what it does it basically tests every piece of hardware in your phone such as the CPU memory and the graphics those are the main parts of the phone and although the vibrant does get a lower score of compared to the Nexus one I think the Vibrant is a lot better in terms of speed and stability due to the, its updated processor, which is Samsung's Hummingbird processor, which is basically a renamed version of the Apple A4 processor, uh, the ones you see in the uh, iPhone 4 and the iPad and the new iPod Touch 2010, and compared to that, to the to the Nexus One Snapdragon processor. This one easily beats it, but I guess the numbers don't show it. Um, maybe it's part one of the reasons why the Nexus One does score higher on it is because it's on the 2.2 updated, whereas this the Samsung Vibrant is on the 2.1 update, and 2.2 has a feature called JIT, J I T, stands for just in time. It's a little program that basically boosts your phone speed a lot, almost one and a half to two times faster. But anyways, I get a squat, 
I get a quadrant score of 998. It's about 200 more, about 200, 150 more than a stock Samsung Galaxy S. And the uh, Nexus One gets about 1300. I mean, once, once the Samsung Vibrant gets the 2.2 update, this thing will blow the Nexus One out of the water. So let's go ahead and go to a few more apps Eugene has installed, such as the LBS test mode. Basically, it tests your GPS. Like uh, we all know that the Samsung Vibrant has GPS problems. And basically, what this does is it measures your measures the numbers of satellite satellite information. It'll tell you like the connection speed, um, basically, and to see it to see whether or not the GPS is working. I guess the GPS isn't working still. Samsung really needs to address this problem, but it is not the ROM's fault that GPS doesn't work. Anyways, um, let's take through this phone a little bit more. It does not come loaded with it does not come loaded with swipe. Uh, I installed the swipe when I pulled uh, the swipe from a previous Eugene 373 ROM. So it'll come standard with, let's see if I can change it. No, I can't change it. It'll come standard with HTC's um, keyboard, which is a good keyboard, but compared to swipe, I like swipe better because it allows me to type a lot faster, especially on a touch screen. Easy to type. And this is how the phone launcher will look. It is kind of plain compared to the original dialer. And you can't really customize it too much. Um, I mean, you really have to dig in this part. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about it much. He, Eugene installed Wizzy's Contact, which is a little bit better than the stock, stock dialer but overall it's still the same thing kind of plain yes I know but that's what you get for taking out TW launcher I'd rather have TW launcher than just a fancy dialer because overall it helps with the stability and the speed of the whole ROM and what I just entered is called advanced task manager and it just allows you to kill any tasks that um, that are running in the background that drains your battery life and you see these little X's here that excludes all those apps that have an X mark next to them so whenever I click on a little widget called advanced task manager widget it says press to end when it, if I press that it'll end every application that is open except those X marks because they are essential to the core system of the vibrant it doesn't have the multi-touch pinch to zoom where you have the screens pop up but you can install launcher pro if you do want to use that I do think launcher pro runs very well on it however if you do stay if you do stick with launcher pro you might want to ins uninstall launcher that way resources will not be wasted on it and let's see So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the Samsung Vibrant rooted with the Eugene 373's Vibrant Hybrid Revision 3 ROM. And let's see. Browser is the same thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is Paul Winter, and please subscribe to, any, to my videos, and you will see more videos coming from me very often. Alright, you have a nice day.